This thing is going to cost us like almost like $8,000 to build after all said and done. You know, we keep all our fingers. We could buy one of these just to pick up wood eventually, man. That's my plan. What's up, Mouse Trap Gang? Welcome back to another video, man. It is your boy Mouse to the Trap, man. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Every time you guys watch a video, drop in the comments, hitting that like, subscribing, doing all that YouTube stuff, man. So today is September 1st, and we actually got 16 days to finish the Silverado build that's outside. Uh, the event is the 17th and 18th. If you guys are in the surrounding areas, man, make sure to pull up. Hang out, man. Let's jam out, man. On top of the Silverado build, man, if you guys been watching the videos, man, we are working on two beautiful Ford OBS trucks, man. A Ford Lightning and a Flare Side, which we are building double consoles um, that are going to be identical, so they just slide right in. Um, yesterday, we actually built our router table that's sitting right over there, and we cut out one of the first piece, and we just got to duplicate it after we, you know, do a couple of minor adjustments to it. But, you know, we're going to work on the Ford console maybe in a few days, but for right now, man, we actually get back on the Silverado build, so we don't waste no time on it, man. So subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. Are we going to make it? Who knows, time will tell, but man, watch these videos and stay updated to see what happens. Yeah, so we have both of the door panels, they're already taken apart, they're everything. And we have to do away with all this orange stuff out of here. Like, it has to get out of here, guys. Here, it's just we're gonna fastly cut it with the jigsaw. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do this with the air saw, but I am gonna cut it with the jigsaw just to lock, knock a lot of it off. Um, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna grind it out. And then, you know, we'll DA it nice and smooth to get rid of all this rough stuff off because we don't need that in our life. So we can start mounting down rings. This was not, look at that, these cats. Whoever built these, man, they did not care. They wanted whoever was gonna take these things apart to hurt themselves and not even the clues or the staples that are still on the door. Um, I'm gonna cut a strip out of quarter inch wood that I got right there. And what I'm actually gonna do is I am gonna do a piece of quarter inch that's gonna go um, from there to there. Cause you see like, this is the breaking point right here, you see? So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut out this shape right there and then I'm gonna screw it from the back so it like sandwiches in pretty good. Um, for the main reason that now we have a nice staple line that we can do on the actual door panel so we don't blast through it because it's so thin. So that's actually better. Like this I'm not really worried about because that's good structure because it has like that right there. So the staples are gonna grab good. It's just this area is right here I was worried about um, shooting the staple gun when we fleece it and it just blasting right through it um same thing we're going to do the same thing on this one this one's not flimsy like the other one but this one you know it is because i already attached them door panels man it was horrible man because we don't want to do double the work you see what i'm saying or do messy work and it you know compromise on future um steps that we have to take to get these door panels done but you see it we're going ahead this was a very must do and we got it out the way so now let me go ahead and get let me ahead and clean this up right now because this is a complete mess um and then i'm going to set up outside and we're going to keep on grinding man say like 26 and we really don't want to come that deep with it so we'll do 26 and maybe just like an inch and a half so we can you know screw it from there to that point and then from the back in so it sandwiches it and so it stays nice and straight we have our piece so we doctored it up real quick and it's actually pretty good uh, you know we can still staple on this side because it is uh, more stronger uh, but this side was just actually a little bit more flimsier but we actually got right here 
and we are going to staple it. And then once we put our fiberglass mat, we can just lay it nice and neat so it stays in this edge. Um, and we are going to grind these down so they're at like an angle going um, inwards. And I think this door panel should be good and it should be ready almost for rings, guys. Okay, so now that we actually cut the door panel out, we can actually see where the door panel is going to sit and what has to be modified in order for it to, you know, go up. So, like, this is real awesome right here. Man, I love it. And so here, we're just going to actually have to come and, like, notch it out. Uh, we'll probably just, like, round it out just to follow the contour of the door so it looks real nice. Um, and then, obviously, the tweeter is still going to fit in there. And, like I said, I was actually thinking about redoing, like, this piece right here just because... Um, I want to do it a different style so it looks a lot better than what it was actually looking. It was still looking good, but I actually want to, you know, change the look of it. Um, but this, man, this is all a part of the process, man. Trust it. Compared to what these door panels were looking like, you know, with it just a big opening to what it is right now, man, it's, we are in there. If we can go ahead and get all of our shapes out, everything cut out, all the doors modified it, everything ready to rock and roll, the rings ready. Uh, I don't see why we can't glue these rings on tomorrow and fleece and maybe even just layer one layer of fiberglass tomorrow but doing the fiberglass I think that'll be a little bit too much but going ahead and gluing the rings on and fleecing it man that's a go ahead man it is definitely a go ahead all right guys so I actually got a little bit stubborn and I just went ahead and fiberglassed it man you know it's fiberglass underneath it I don't want to move it to, to shift the shape of it but I mix it up a little bit hot just so it'll sit um, uh, cure faster and it's going to sit in there and it's going to be solid that piece is not going to flex it's not going to do nothing it's going to stay sol solid and so now we just put a fresh blade on the jigsaw and so we actually got to cut this contour right here and then i'm actually going to cut out the tweeter shape and then we should be ready to uh replicate this or you know do the replica of it on our table saw that we are our router table that we're going to be very very respectful to to make sure you know, we keep all our fingers. Hey gang, so this is the moment of truth right now. We are gonna go ahead and try our new router table. I'm gonna tie my shoelaces up pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna brace myself and we're gonna get this thing cut out, man. And if anything happens, we'll just let it go. I'd rather it just like strike your boy in the stomach. All right, gang, we did it. Look, cut out. We still have all of our fingers. Smooth cut, man. That thing just ate it like a baby, man. I'm not even going to lie to you, gang. So I, I honestly feel that we'll be all right um, with the bigger pieces. But obviously with smaller pieces, we're just going to go ahead and keep using a palm router. Um, and this one's just going to stay with the flush trim on it because it's a lot easier to trim it out versus trying to hold bigger pieces and trying to flush it out. But we did it, guys. Definitely a game changer for us. But one thing with the router table, man, it makes a mess. Look at that. Good thing this is right here on the grill. Yeah, that's horrible. Very, very horrible. We're going to have to try to figure out a way how to incorporate a vacuum line for this to suck that up. Because that's my only thing, man. Routers make so much mess, but it makes work look so beautiful. And it gives us our shape that we are looking for. And now those pieces are done. So now what's left to do is just cut out the tweeter holes. Okay, so it's safe to say that these pieces of the puzzle are 100% complete, guys. Okay, so I think we're at the end of early look. Man, the clouds are forming. Uh, we got the top pieces done on both of the door panels. Those are ready to get rings mounted. We just got to grind it out, but no biggie. The rings are modified in, modified in and the uh, tweeter holes are cut out. So these things are done. They're ready to get mounted on. Uh, and then tomorrow we could just actually, to keep us busy, we can just cut the rings out. Um, get them shaped out. I'm gonna go tonight and buy the router. Uh, so we have everything tomorrow tomorrow ready to rock and roll so we can get those door panels done because man look it is Getting there and it did call for some rain and I don't want to get caught with all these stuff all this stuff out here in the rain and get messed up man, especially our router table. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow that guy out first That's gonna be the first thing that gets put away. It's gonna go inside the video. All right gang So man, it's getting really dark out man. It's already starting to thunder But real quick man look so this is what it's going to look like. Look, that's the tweeter that we're going to use, the Selenium Trio. Yeah, what you guys think? Hard work right here, guys, man. 
We still gotta build our piece over there, which I got an idea exactly how it's gonna go, man. But this rain just came out of nowhere. Man, look at this. Good, one good wind gust and it could take the whole um, tent out. Man, that's why it's holes and everything, man. This, this is probably like my sixth tent already. The other one's already ate it. We still probably got like a month and a half of hurricane season here in Florida, but man, I, I love this door panel. It's gonna look good, guys. It's gonna look really good. Dark, it's thundering. Um, Ain't, ain't no telling what's gonna happen right now. But anyway, so we just got cleaned up. We made it sure all of our tools are in there, man. Our router table's inside. You hear it? Yeah, man. I don't wanna get electrocuted, fam. If not, we'd never make it nowhere. But anyway, so what I'm gonna actually do right now, um, while I'm uploading this, uh, all the videos, so I can drop the video later on tonight before six o'clock. I actually messed up last night and dropped it at nine, and it was like, I just hate when I do that, but it's because your boy gets busy, man. And today I actually do have quite a bit of haircuts that I got to do. We still need to fund our build. You see what I'm saying? This thing's not cheap at all to do. I think after all said and done, after everything's playing, all the equipment's in there, we'd probably at least have a solid, uh, we'll say easy $5,000 invested in her, man. You know, with sound equipment. And you know, we're actually saving ourselves tons of money on the labor because I am doing it myself. So if I would actually charge, man, listen, those door panels, if I do them for somebody from what they came to and what they're gonna be, that's an easy $1,600 right there, just in those door panels without speakers, without speakers. You see what I'm saying? The box, another like $1,000. Um, you know, the wiring, like another like three, $400. Um, doing extra like the other and that's just building the door panels That's not even installing like the LEDs in the door panels and that's not even including like material and all that stuff, man So I, I think overall this thing is gonna cost us like almost like eight thousand dollars to build after all said and done between time equipment um, You know everything, you know everything uh, It's gonna cost us almost like we'll say a good ballpark area like seven eight thousand dollars it's costing us to put the system in this truck, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna love it. Truck is gonna actually boost us up in this YouTube stuff. It's, the networking is gonna be badass. Um, you know, I, I plan to do networking when we go to that show. That's gonna be awesome. I, I'm gonna get to meet a lot of the people. I'm actually gonna sit here and talk to uh, other like companies and all that stuff and not trying to get no sponsorship just so I can have good ties with them. So then instead of going to the stores, I can just buy directly from them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get nothing for free. I don't care about any sponsorships. I don't care about anything. You know, that's why we work hard and be able to, you know, uh, buy what we can buy. And like I said in yesterday's video, I, I'll do whatever I can do for myself, not what anybody else can do for me. You see what I'm saying? And if for some reason we happen to do, you know, a collaboration with somebody, you know, I'm not expecting out of, nothing out of anybody because the collab is way more important than getting anything for free. You see what I'm saying? It's all about the collaborations and getting to meet new people because then it just opens up the doors for us in a whole different way. If you watched yesterday's video, I said like a thing, uh, where I said, I'm like, man, I need to buy like a little small Vinny van so I can go buy wood. And look, this is what I meant. The thundering, guys. So this is what I meant right here. So imagine us going to go pick up some wood with the mouse trap, uh, YouTube logo on it, our Instagram name, tin it out, maybe a little bit of system, and just being able to pick up materials, tools, and speakers, everything. And this guy just riding around in that thing, man. That'd be awesome. And you know, you never know. We could buy one of these just to pick up wood eventually, man. That's my plan. All right, gang, so man, the thunder is going down. Man, your boy is a little bit tired. I'm not really tired, but we still need to get stuff done behind the scenes. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Wasn't much, but we still got any work is better than no work, guys. You know, like, it's, it is what it is. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace. It's gonna be, be raining like this throughout the rest of the day. So we made a good call getting done.